little story about a friend of mine. He likes to do this thing when he gets really excited where he screams loud noises and then he screeches as loud as he possibly can. And as you can imagine, it irritates everybody around. But he's not a dumb guy, he's actually really intelligent. So why would he do that if he knows it bothers everybody? Only thing I can figure is it must be a lot of fun to make loud noises. First things first, I'm going to turn these into the bells that I'm going to put into this. So they need to shrink down so that they... To do that, I'm going to use my old paper trick where I take this and... Ta-da! The only part that's even slightly difficult, and it's really not, because it requires, like, next to no math, is that these are going to be cut into triangles. So you figure out this circumference, divide it by eight, and that's your distance for material left between these triangles that you're going to cut out. Just in case you forgot, circumference is pi times diameter. See that light colored line that's in the plastic? That was there. So I'm going to use that to line my paper up on the other side. So after trying a whole bunch of marking devices, the only thing that works consistently to put marks on PVC is the fat side of a Sharpie, which is a pain because it's not very accurate. Let me know in the comments if you know something that'll put marks on this stuff. It's a little more accurate than this. Luckily this stuff is thin so I can cut it with this and it's not going to take days to get these things made. It's still going to take a long time though. Well, I got this thing done. It was a cool idea, but it was time consuming, and I don't know how difficult it's gonna be to glue all these pieces together. It's difficult to get them to line up. So I'm gonna try it, but I think I'm gonna change my technique when I do the other three. Tape doesn't stick. Awesome. Horn. <laughs> well, that's not gonna happen. Just gotta do three more, but I'm gonna do them a different way. I'm just gonna cut one triangle out and then I'm gonna heat shape them into it. It'll go way faster. Pro tip, if you're trying to make a line over a curved surface straight between two points, use string, clamp it in place, and then draw the line along the string. Back to back pro tip, if these shears are color coded, yellow cuts straight and turns left or right. Green turns right and red turns left. And the shorter the jaws, the easier it is to cut material. Cutting one piece out was a lot easier, so I'm gonna make four of these things. That way it looks even. Whoa! Too hot. Pro tip, wear thick gloves. I think this stuff might be ABS. Don't know. I thought drain pipe was still PVC. I'm gonna find out in a second though, because I'm gonna use a torch to try to melt it together. That's what makes PVC dangerous. It's chlorinated, so it doesn't melt, it just burns, and then it releases noxious gases that kill you. ABS is acetyl butyl styrene, some, some like that. Point is, I can melt that seam with a torch and melt it together. It'll be awesome. And I was right, kind of. But to make a long story short, I could melt the pipe together with heat. But it was incredibly difficult to do so. It was almost like I needed flux to get the plastic to stick together. So I tried a whole bunch of different techniques and it ended up looking super hideous, but eventually I got it done. Every time you build something, it's a learning process. And this time I learned that ABS is an absolute nightmare to plastic weld. So my horn setup is done! And I think it looks really cool, except for the fact that it looks terrible when I bonded the seams of the pipes. For you, that took a few seconds. For me, it took a few hours. I'd rather work with PVC any day, even though it tries to kill you. Which is what I have to do next. So this horn is just to look cool and see what it ends up sounding like. This one follows no math rules for horns whatsoever. Time to make this hot and try not to die. Necessary. See that smoke? It'll kill ya! Literally, it'll kill ya. This stuff is so thin, all it wants to do is kick. I thought the thin stuff would be easier to shape. Totally wrong! Mandrel bending is when they make a bend in a pipe and the inside diameter stays consistent the whole way around the bend. And crush bending is when they squish it. The mandrel is the thing that they pull through the middle of the pipe that stretches it back out to the same inside diameter. I rigged this up and I hope it works. It's a rope mandrel because I didn't have anything else to use. I'm going to pull it through a 550 cord and I'm going to bend the crap out of this pipe. I can't take this off because it's toxic in here from heating up PVC. But my mandrel idea obviously doesn't work very well because this thing looks terrible. 
This is basically a proof of concept. So it doesn't really matter if it works that well or not. This thing took a really long time to build, and if I try to make noise with it, it's not very loud. And I kind of knew it wasn't going to be that loud if I just used my mouth to do it, so I got an air horn to try that. And the air horn doesn't work because of flow or something. But there's an easy solution. You can make your own air horn. And there's a ton of videos out there on how to do this. It's super simple and there's lots of variations, but I think this is the easiest way. You get a T fitting that has a small hole there. You get a coupler for that end. You get a pipe that fits through there. You tape some sort of rubbery material. This is just a glove over that end. You push the pipe through the whole way until you see it touch. And then once it's touching, and you can adjust the tone by pushing the pipe further in. Pretty nifty, huh? If you wanna see how loud this horn is compared to speaking volume, adjust your volume so that you can hear my voice right now at a normal level. If you do this, you'll actually get an idea of how loud the horn is because there's no way for me to adjust the volume of this video up higher than it already is. But you can turn your speakers up. Or you can make it higher pitched so it doesn't sound like a dinosaur. Now turn your speakers back down to a normal level. This thing's a proof of concept. This by far is not the final project. I want to build something way bigger. And I actually used some math to make the horn efficient. That way it's a lot louder. And I'll probably still use human power with one of these to make it really loud. I might try to see if this works. But I think human powered is pretty cool. Maybe it should be a challenge. I think I might paint this thing real quick. There. Now it looks cooler. <laughs> Now I just gotta build one that's way bigger. Thank goodness for Patreon supporters! That's how I can afford pipes like this to build the next one. And to thank them for helping me out with getting some supplies for this next project, I'm gonna give this away to one of them. Link in the description of my Patreon page. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Cool little thing I tried. If you glue something that can act like is a little weight to the middle of that diaphragm, it totally changes the tone. If I get much lower, I might hit the brown note. <laughs> that wouldn't be good for any of us.